going to make a Cleopatra dress. Well, Cleopatras really are about um, simplicity when it comes to the gown part. So you really don't need to go any farther other than choosing a black or a white simple shift gown out of your closet. Find something very plain and simple. It can be fitted or it can be loose. You can also do um, take some rope or some gold chaining and wrap that around the waist area to give you more of a fitted waist. Um, so really you just need a basic overall uh, shift dress for your Cleopatra. Really not a lot of sewing involved. If you would like to sew something, there are wonderful patterns in the fabric stores that you can choose, a uh, variety of different um, how-tos, so if you're a uh, lower um, inexperienced seamstress, they have easy ones, and they have more elaborate ones if you're a little bit more of an advanced seamstress as well. So you can keep that in mind. Most important to your Cleopatra costume really is the collar pieces, the head pieces that you need. So uh, we're going to talk a little bit about that. One of your easiest ways to make a collar piece to just add to your black dress is really just to find some felt uh, and cut it out in the size circle that you want, making sure that the inner circle is the size of your neck so that you can easily put that on. You can finish off the back part with um, some Velcro or hooks, however you want it to work. But as you can see, we elaborately decorated this with just glitter and glue, uh, making it a great collar for your Cleopatra. You can easily make a matching piece to go over your hair or your wig, whatever you've chosen for your Cleopatra hair to make a match. You could also easily make matching cuffs and leg guard, uh, pieces as well to go with this, all using the same concept of just simply felt, glue, and glitter. So that's an easy how-to collar. For a little bit more sewing advanced, this one here, which we've made a collar piece and a head piece and some leg pieces out of, were all done out of one of those great beaded 80s dresses that everybody has and nobody uses anymore. So we really just simply, as you can see, I'm going to show it to you here. Maybe you can see the old parts of the dress. This top piece here, this is really just the top piece of the dress. We just simply cut along the, the design that was already there, giving us this fun little uh, gold pieces to stream off of, and uh, just following the line of the dress, and just simply cutting it out to whatever the, the pattern best fit for our Cleopatra. We then went ahead and lined it, with uh, a beautiful velvet and just simply um, stitching it all the way around. This is another actual project that you could use fabric glue for and easily glue it on. But this makes a great collar piece. Let me show it off for you here. I'll try that one again. But as you can see, it just simply sits off the shoulders and you can see how you add that to your black gown. It's just going to be a great uh, collar piece for your Cleopatra. We then uh, went ahead and took the leftover pieces of the gown and made uh, some wonderful leg or arm pieces just by simply taking the measurements that we needed for um, the wrist, the arms, uh, the, the uh, ankles, and the calves, depending on where we wanted to put them. Uh, we made it a lace-up just by simply popping some holes into the velvet underlining that we stitched on it. This giving you a great collar piece. Another project that, once again, you could glue or stitch depending on your talents. And just for the final piece on it, we took a few extra pieces and made this great Cleopatra headpiece. We simply, once again, uh, followed along the path of what we liked. Um, actually, these pieces we found on another part of the dress, cut them off, and we just simply shoved them up inside the band, stitching them on. This is an old earring that uh, one of the sides had broken. We simply just stitched it on there, ending the back with a nice piece of uh, elastic so that you can very simply fit it on any head or wig, depending on um, what it is you've done with your top of your Cleopatra head. And this, uh, all just simply made by um, an old 80s sequin dress that no one was going to use again, that looks great as a Cleopatra easy sew thing. I hope you can take these ideas and make your next Cleopatra an easy sew.